Hi, this is Dan with StarViews.com, and today we're going to review the As Seen on TV product, the Express Ready Set Go. Now we've previously re reviewed the GT Express. This is the updated version, and here's what you get. For the actual piece itself, they've removed the center divider, and that's giving you 25% more cooking area. Now again, this is just like the last one's going to cook from both the top as well as the bottom, and they're also going to receive these insertable uh, cooking trays. So obviously uh, this is set for some of the recipes, it's divided, and there's uh, this other one that has all these little pods in it, and that's for other recipes. You're also going to receive the double-sided spatula that is shaped perfectly for removing uh, what you've cooked in the Express Ready, Set, Go. You have the bonus recipe guide here that folds out like so. Then you have the basic instructions as well as this recipe guide. Now we're going to go ahead and put this to the test today, making three different meals, and let's just get to the test and share with you our results. Okay, so we're here. We have the Express Ready, Set, Go. Uh, a couple of differences between this unit and the previous unit is this not only has a timer on the top, but it has the on-off switch, where with the old unit you just have to plug it in and unplug it to get the on-off. Now it has this green LED that lets you know when it's preheated. So Inside here we have the, uh, the small wells uh, installed and it just sits in the pan like that. You're supposed to spray it with some non-stick uh, cooking spray which we have done. Here's just your basic packaged up uh, cinnamon rolls. So you're just going to drop those in these wells. And then you're going to set the timer to four minutes and in four minutes you're going to have some mini cinnamon buns. So just like that, take it like this. On the top you're going to set it. It only goes up to 15 minutes because it's supposed to cook your food faster because instead of like if you used your oven you had a large cooking area, this concentrates the cooking area just to right around your food from the bottom as well as the top and nothing can escape the side. So since nothing can escape the side it's going to cut down your cooking times. So let's be back in four minutes and show you our results for our mini cinnamon buns. Okay, so our buzzer just went off. Let you know that the uh, cinnamon buns are done. You want to grab this. Make sure you use something because this actually gets gets hot from being cooked. And you know, just to extract them is pretty easy. They just flop right out just like that. You can either go ahead and put this back into place, cook them again, or you can throw it in your dishwasher. It is dishwasher safe, and uh, clean it up. Let's move on. So now we're going to move on and we're going to make a pepperoni pizza. Obviously we have no insert as you can see. That gives us the whole cooking surface to work with. It's preheated. We've sprayed both the bottom and the top with the non -cook, uh, the non-stick cooking spray. Uh, we have our dough here. This is just going to be like regular pizza dough that you're going to get in like a Pillsbury package. Going to throw it into the bottom. You know, want to move it around to, to spread it out. And then you're going to want to uh, spoon in some of your sauce. And this is all written down uh, for you in the recipe guide that comes with it. So it tells you exactly how to, how to make it. You don't want to spread it around a little more. A little more there. Spread that around. Put this off to the side. Going to take just some cheese. Some shredded mozzarella. Take it, place it into your pizza. And for ours, we're going to modify the recipe a little bit. We're going to put some pepperoni in there. They call for olives. We're going to leave the olives out. So, uh, obviously, you got that right there. You have some pepperonis. Just cut some small sliced pepperoni. Don't want to go overboard. Just a couple. And then, uh, pretty basic. Throw the lid down. Set this to seven minutes, and that again is in the recipe guide. And when the timer goes off, you should have yourself a pepperoni pizza. Stay tuned. Okay, so our timer just went off. It shuts off the green LED, and then just lift up the lid, and there you have your pizza. Again, if you look, we sprayed this with non-stick cooking spray, but there's no cheese stuck to the top, which makes it a nice, easy cleanup. And then you're going to go ahead and use the spatula, get underneath the pizza and just slide it out onto the plate. Let's let that cool off. 
And in the meantime, we're gonna use the Express Ready, Set, Go to cook some stuffed French toast. Okay, so here's our stuffed French toast. Again, this just comes out of the recipe guide that's included with the Express Ready, Set, Go. Just two eggs here, uh, two pieces of bread. In the bread is some uh, cream cheese as well as some strawberry jam. You're just gonna coat it in the egg. And then right from the egg, go into the express. And again, we're using the divided pan here, which is gonna keep them both separate. Again, it's gonna be cooking from the top and the bottom. The bottom uh, has been sprayed with the nonstick cooking spray. We're gonna set this to four minutes, and we'll be back in four minutes to see how these turned out. So our French toast uh, is in our express ready set. So you can see it just went off. You hear the chime, that means it's done. Now we've actually already had to flip this because it wasn't cooking too evenly. So, I mean, it cooked everything else, you know, pretty accurately, but for some reason the seven minutes for this uh, stuffed French toast didn't seem all that accurate. So again, just be careful when removing it, it's hot. The spatula is shaped very nice for the wells, so it does a nice job. Again, this is non-stick, so whatever residue is uh, left in there that's spilled out of the sides is gonna clean up quite, uh, quite easily. Put it down, flip the switch to off, shut the machine down. Let's let these cool, and let's, uh, it's time for a taste test. Let's see how the results really taste. Okay, so in front of me we have the cinnamon buns, we have the pizza, and we have our stuffed French toast. Just gonna see how it all tastes. I mean, it all, it's cooked pretty evenly, everything, so. Hmm. They're really good, and they're actually really easy to make. Again, we just use pre-packaged Cinnabons, and the taste is pretty good. Move on to the pizza. It's cooked evenly, uh, holds its form quite nicely. It's pretty good. Again, it only took seven minutes to make. Move on to the, uh, to the French toast here. French toast uh, turned out really well as well. Um, it's very good. They said it takes about four minutes to make. We had to keep turning ours on and on and on again. It probably took over 10 minutes to cook those. So the cook time in the recipe guide is a little bit off. We also have to flip them over because it didn't seem to be cooking too well from the top. Overall, we had some great success with the GT Express Ready, Set, Go. A couple pros about the product. With the different inserts, it gives you three different options for cooking, and with the included recipe guide, it gives you, a, you know, hundreds of recipes that you can make in under seven minutes. So it's very quick, it's uh, very easy to use. The on-off switch is a nice upgrade from the previous unit, as well as the built-in timer. Couple cons. There is a slight learning curve, and they make it look a little bit easier than it actually is on the infomercial. Not everything is just by the book, and again, when it says seven minutes, it could be more like 10 or 12, depending, you know, everything's a little bit different. If you have some thicker bread, it might take you a little longer. Overall, it's a good unit. Star of using to give the product five out of six stars. It lives up to most of the claims that they make in the infomercial about the product, and it's really easy to use. Be sure to check out our other As Seen on TV product reviews at our website, starreviews.com.